All right, hello, wine drinking people, and happy new year. Welcome to Vintage 2015, our very first email of the new year. And I thought it would be fitting to pick out one of the marquee wines to introduce to you, reintroduce to you, our wine drinking people in 2015. You know, sometimes when a winery's been around for as long as Charles Krug Winery has, 150 years. People tend to think I've been there, done that, but let me tell you, there's very few wines you will find in the world that are at this quality level. All estate bottled now is this uh, 2012 vintage Napa Cabernet. And the Sauvignon Blanc, for the money, one of the greatest Sauvignon Blancs you'll find anywhere in the world. That's right, Charles Krug has been around for 150 years. The Mondavi family, though, purchased it uh, in the 40s. And uh, this was uh, bought from a very famous banker in San Francisco who wanted to find a family who would carry on the tradition of this Napa's very first winery, founded in 1861 by Charles Krug, a Prussian immigrant. And uh, the Mondavi family had a history of making wine, Caesar and his two sons. He liked the idea that he was going to carry on this tradition with his family. Unfortunately, Peter and Robert didn't see eye to eye, and uh, it was well known in Napa Valley that these two, for the 25 years they worked together at Charles Krug Winery, barely even spoke to each other. Well, Peter was more interested in making wine for the people, making very reasonably priced wines, and, you know, he made a lot of innovations, glass lined tanks, uh, barrels to age wine in. There was a lot of things that they did for the first time cold fermentation at Charles Krug Winery that a lot of people don't realize. Peter Mondavi himself was a real innovator in terms of quality, but Robert said, look, we want to make wines that are on par with the best made in Bordeaux, meaning as expensive as the wines made in Bordeaux. So uh, these two clashed, and well, Robert ended up leaving in 1966. A very famous court battle ensued, and he did win some top Cabernet vineyards in the battle, but... Uh, you know, these two, for many years, didn't speak. And, you know, near the end, though, they did get back together, which is nice to see the Mondavi family reunited. And uh, this is still a family-run winery. The two children of uh, Peter Sr. now run the winery. And uh, these guys making some of top the top wines in their price category and at any price when you look at some of the new exciting stuff that is going on from the two brothers here at Charles Krug Winery. Well, the 2012 Napa Cab, this wine has been a huge hit here in the store. And for under $25 a bottle, I challenge you to find anything that is this good. This wine ranks very high on the immediate gratification scale, also drinks good right out of the bottle. And uh, a really nice amount of currant and cherry, dark cherry fruit here, uh, fresh loamy, earthy notes, dark chocolate, ripe round tannins, and wonderful freshness here. This wine's got wonderful balance and structure. It should last for 10, 15 years or more in your cellar. This 2012, a serious vintage to watch. The 2013 vintage, though, looks like it's even better in Napa. And this Sauvignon Blanc could be the best Sauvignon Blanc that I've ever had from Charles Krug Winer with notes of honeysuckle and passion fruit, along with fresh melon, lime, and grapefruit citrus. Really crisp and bright style, very vibrant on the tongue. They harvest at night to get uh, the fruit at maximum freshness. And a really signature style from them. This is a wine that, like I said, for the money, it is really hard to find a better Sauvignon Blanc in this style for $12.50. And it comes in a screw cap, something we love here at the Wine Watch, the best way to enclose wine, to keep it fresh and less oxidative, which less oxidative means more fruit. Most people that are drinking California wines love fruit. So check it out, these two wines, as well as everything else available from Charles Crew Winery on this offering. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.